Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for watching. Please, please subscribe. If you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. So, today is a really, really fun video. I'm so excited. So today it is February 28th and you guys will be seeing this on March 10th, I believe. Yeah, March 10th. So today, wait, no, you'll be seeing this on March 5th. Okay, and then the super exciting video is coming March 10th. Keep an eye out for that. Um, so today we are packing. Yes, I know. We're packing. I am traveling. I am going home to Oregon for two weeks and I am surprising my sister. So basically, here's the story. Ever since I knew that my husband was joining the military and I was never going to live near my family ever again, I had this plan in my mind. I had it planned out. My sister just got engaged over Christmas last year and her wedding dress appointment is on March 5th. Unbeknownst to her, I will be showing up at the dress appointment. And I'm so, so excited. So the plan is, is that me and my dad are gonna get there before her appointment starts. We're gonna park far away so she doesn't see the car and she's not gonna suspect anything. Me and my dad will be hiding in like the back, maybe the stock room or something. And then uh, what I want to happen, what I hope can happen is that when everybody gets there and they're looking at dresses and she's talking to like her stylist or whatever, her stylist will say something along the lines of like, Mm, actually, I think there's something for you in the back, like something that, like a dress that sounds perfect for you in the back. Let me go grab it. And then I will come out holding a dress and be like, hey, why don't you try this one on? And hopefully she's gonna freak out. Hopefully she's gonna cry. That sounds rude, but she's gonna cry. And it's gonna be so exciting. So the whole travel vlog and all of that and the surprise will be coming in my next video on March 10th. But today you're gonna help me pack because I leave in three days and I'm really excited. So let's go. So the plan is I'm going to take a backpack on the plane with me. I'm going to take with like my laptop and chargers and important stuff in it. I'm going to take a duffel bag on the plane with me overhead with my clothes. And then that suitcase over there will have some clothes in it, but most of it is going to be all of my souvenirs from my family in bubble wrap because I got them. I'm bringing like wine, oils, cheeses, um, ceramic mugs. Yeah, so things that, you know, I don't wanna break. So we're gonna like wrap them in trash bags, then bubble wrap, then like I'll wrap them also in like a few things of clothes that don't necessarily fit in my duffel bag. So I kind of have everything planned out already. Um, I know I need like four workout outfits and like five regular outfits because I'm going to my parents' house. So I'm just gonna do laundry and stuff and then I can just mismatch whatever, so. Yeah, we're gonna see if everything can fit in here. I'm a little worried, but I think we can make it. I mean, we're gonna, yeah, I think I'll be fine. I think it'll all be fine. I think it'll be fine. Okay, so we're gonna start with like, obviously the basics, bra, socks, underwear, whatever. Obviously, you know, I'm a girl. We pack for like, we pack, man, like, we pack a lot of underwear and bra and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna grab, I have a pile here of everything that I think I wanna bring. And of course you guys know me, it's pretty much all Sarah's Day activewear. But I do have one outfit that I'm bringing that are, um, so these black Nike leggings, plain black Nike leggings. These are like one of my favorite pairs. I don't know which like version of the Nike leggings they are, but they're so comfortable and like the fabric is so soft. And then I'm gonna wear this Acta, Actawear bra with it. I do have a discount code with Actawear. Um, that'll be linked in my description down below if you guys want to check it out. I think it's 15% off. Yeah, it's 15% off. Um, but I love this bra. It's like got the cage back. It comes with padding in it. I just take all the padding out of my sports bras because I don't like padded sports bras. That's just, I'm not into it. So I'm going to bring that outfit. And then of course, everything else is Sarah's day active wear. So I'm going to bring the dominate set. And so I got the sports bra. And I'm going to bring the rally set which is easily my top two i think this is definitely like my second favorite i love the rally set it's just so flattering the lines and all of the colors are basically like they're like my brand colors so it's like 
I just that I think that's one of the reasons I love this set, this activewear line so much is because all of the colors are like my brand colors. It just works out perfectly. So I'm gonna bring the bra. And then of course, this has gotta be my number one favorite, would be the Monza set. If you know me, you know my favorite color is orange and like bright ass orange. So this is just like, has my heart, it has my heart. And I don't wear them very often here because I'm always so scared that like, oh my gosh, I'm wearing bright colors. People are gonna stare at me more because I look like a freaking traffic cone. But I am getting we're doing we're we're setting up a garage gym here soon and i'm so excited i'm actually gonna like film the whole process of getting all the equipment setting it up all that stuff i'm so excited to finally have a garage gym it's gonna be it's gonna be so good and it's gonna like be really helpful so that i can film more workout content and stuff like that and me feel comfortable doing that because i don't necessarily feel comfortable doing that at the gym plus when i like film workout content at the gym i have to like set my phone down on the ground like propped up with a water bottle but since it'll just be in my garage I can bring my tripod with my light and everything down there and it's I'm so excited cannot wait we're probably gonna start ordering stuff once I get back from my trip um I am so excited and of course I'm bringing like workout shirts too I don't really work out in a sports bra but now that I'm getting a garage gym I can Let's go to like outfit outfits. Okay, so I did this on FaceTime with my friend yesterday and she really helped me like um, cull what I do absolutely do not bring, need to bring. And she's like, Kelsey, if you have room in your suitcase after everything is packed, then you can bring extra jeans. And I was like, whatever, fine, rude. Um, so I have pair of long black ripped wide leg flare jeans from Pullin' Bear. These are my favorite. And I think these are the ones I'm actually gonna wear for the big like surprise. I think I'm gonna wear these or I'm gonna wear my H&M mom jeans. I love these. And I'm probably gonna sneak an extra pair of mom jeans into my luggage. Even though my friend yesterday was like, Kelsey, you don't need more than one pair of mom jeans. In my head, I was like, yes I do. So I'm gonna bring these ones. And then I have two pairs of skinny jeans, both from, oh wait, these ones are Levi's, plain black, no ribs, and these ones are Abercrombie & Fitch, light wash, and they have a little bit of ribbage in them. Perfect, okay, shirts. As for shirts, this is all of what I'm planning on bringing, so let's go, hold on. So for the surprise, I think I'm gonna wear this. It's just, um, it looks really tiny, but I promise it's, it stretches. But just a long sleeve button up bodysuit. I think I'll wear this with those black jeans. I think that'll look cute. Oh, frick, I forgot I have to bring shoes. Well, I'll just fit my shoes into my checked. Oh my God, what time is it? I have to hurry up and cook dinner, goodness. I'm gonna bring um I'm probably gonna bring like my big long brown pea coat I'm probably either gonna I'm gonna wear it on the plane or I'm gonna shove it in that suitcase but I'm gonna bring just a plain brown hoodie from H&M all right and my duffel bag is done the question is oh yeah perfect my duffel bag's done so exciting all right hey welcome back it's the next day I'm sorry if I look a little rough I never have, I'm probably never gonna have makeup on this channel and if you don't like my acting, just go away. Sorry, but I probably look a little rough. I'm in just literal sweats right now because like all of my clothes are packed. But it's the next day and today we are packing the big dogs, all right? This is all the souvenirs that I'm bringing home for my family and most of it is in glass. But I do have a plan on how I'm going to, how I'm gonna get this work. So. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start, so I have a champagne. I'm probably gonna bring this to the actual surprise at the bridal salon so we can crack some champagne or whatever. My mom wanted red wine. Got rosé for my sister, because that's her favorite. I got my dad and one of his friends a bunch of hot sauces. And I got my dad 
and his friend some olive oil and then I also have cheeses but those will be like a last minute like hey we're leaving like we're walking out the door I'm gonna shove the cheeses just like in the front compartment of this and then I also have hold on just some few trinkets I got for my family I got my mom a um, Christmas ornament from Venice a while ago I got her a magnet from Verona. I got my mom and my sister love little coin purses, and I got them both these little matching Italy coin purses. And then there's this wonderful lady. Oh my gosh, this amazing lady who makes all these beautiful ceramics by hand, and she hand paints them as well. So I have like okay, I have a coffee mug. Renner has a coffee mug. They're gorgeous. I would literally buy her out of everything if I could. But I got my mom this beautiful little wine stopper that says Italia on it. <clears throat> And then my friend Sam back home, her favorite Disney movie is Alice in Wonderland. So I got her this beautiful mug with the Cheshire Cat on it. And on the back of it, it says, we're all mad here. How gorgeous is this? Like her stuff is just beautiful. She's usually like, she sells on base like a vendor and she's only there like once every while. So whenever she's there, I'm always like, I gotta grab stuff. She's amazing. I love her stuff. And this did come in its own box. So I'm probably actually gonna keep it in the box, but just like, you know, make it safer. But that's all of the souvenirs I'm bringing home. And then as well in this suitcase will be extra clothes and my shoes. So yeah, so we're gonna start out with the three biggest items, which are the wines. So my plan for this is to cover each one in a trash bag. Okay. So let's start with the champagne. Okay, cover each one in a trash bag like this. That way, you know what, if it breaks or spills, it doesn't get on anything. I'm just going to kind of wrap it around itself. I don't know, maybe I'll just like tie it in a knot. How am I going to do this? Okay, so maybe I'll just like, here, I'll do this. I'm going to tie it in a knot. like that so if it does spill it will minimize what it gets on and then I have this glorious roll of bubble wrap so we're going to 60 feet Jesus I did not realize how much of this I got we're gonna open this up use this piece because this is the first piece that came off. I'm going to wrap it in some bubble wrap. I'm probably going to do like two rolls of bubble wrap. I don't have any tape, but I think I'll be fine without it. So I'm probably going to wrap it in a second layer of the zip bubble wrap. Hold on. And then the next and final step, so we're going to take one of my clothing items and also wrap it in that. These babies aren't going anywhere. I'm telling you, they ain't going anywhere. At least they better not go anywhere. I'm putting so much work into this. Okay, so now we're just going to wrap it in my sweater dress so it is nice and cushiony. So that's one bottle of wine. So I'm gonna speed through the rest of these because I don't really think you wanna see me sit here and do this two more times, actually four more times because of the oils.
the wines, and then I have the hot sauces. These are plastic, thank goodness. I am just gonna throw these in a Ziploc bag and call that good since they're just plastic. I'm not worried about them breaking, I'm just worried about them spilling, but that's what the plastic bag is for. Okay, and this, I'll actually put it in the little, perfect. Okay, so now we have little trinkets. This is already bubble wrapped a little bit, but not a lot. So I'm just gonna like throw some extra bubble wrap on me. It's just a Christmas ornament. I mean, it's honestly not that big a deal. It's like three euro. So if it breaks, it breaks. I'm not too crazy worried about it, but my mom does collect Christmas ornaments. I know she'd be sad if it broke. Um. Okay, so now we're gonna do this. So this had, this had this in it. So we're gonna keep the newspaper in there. But we're gonna also, we've gotta keep the note. Um, I'm gonna add a bubble wrap to it as well. Lots, cause I don't want this to break. I also just realized while doing that, that it's perforated. There's like lines on here, so where you're supposed to break it, but Kelsey's stupid sometimes, and so didn't notice that. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm just going to zap it around. And then this, I'm just gonna like shove it because hey, oh, and the magnet, I'll put the magnet in there. I can't fit the ornament in there, otherwise I would. That'd be so handy. So that's good for that. Okay. The ornament, I need tape. I need tape. Here, here's what I'll do. I'll just shove it in here. shove it in this. Um, these are super easy. These can go in here. All right, that is all my souvenirs except for the cheeses. And this is just a leftover shirt that I wanted to bring. So I guess we're just gonna fold it, shove it in there. Okay, so I'm bringing black low top Converse and then I'm bringing white low top platform Converse. And I'm also bringing my white Dita's sneakers. And I have white Nike high tops that I'm bringing but those need to be washed real bad. So I'm gonna see if my husband will wash them for me. And then I wanna bring like one pair of nice shoes, but I don't know what to bring. I don't know what kind of shoes I would bring for that. Like my skincare, makeup, hair stuff, it's all gonna go in here as well. I just am not packing that yet, obviously because I still have um, two days before I leave. So I need to use those things still. So those will be, again, last minute items along with the cheeses that I will just throw in here right before we walk out the door. But that is, that's everything. Oh my God, I'm all packed. Well, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me pack for my trip home for my big surprise. I'm so excited. I went and got my COVID test today and I texted my mom and I was like, Operation Sister Surprise has commenced. But I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe, like, whatever, follow me on Instagram, whatever you want to do. And yeah, the next video you see um, will be the big reveal, the big surprise. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. I can run through the fire.